Hello everyone and welcome to Split Second. This week we received a friend from our LGS, Flavio Margato. For this week's pod, Leto brought his own version of N1 Rogue's combo. Ball is on Jarad's Turbo Rats combo, David brought one of his old favorites, Locust God combo as well, and Margato brought his updated version of Ward's Rakdos Goblins. Note that this game was recorded before Strixhaven came out. Late keeps winning those spell table rolls and he kept his first 7, with a watery grave, a flooded strand and a morphic pool. Sieg River Cutthroat is a great early card draw engine while opposition agent will torment the table most likely. Vampiric Tutor can get him whatever he needs and Steel Enchantment can get hold of Ristic Studies or other value enchantments. Ball had to mulligan down to 5 and kept a Swamp, a Bloodstained Mire and Overgrown Tomba's Lands, in hope to recoup with Sylvan Library and an Abrupt Decay for interaction, sending to the bottom Dark Ritual and Lanoir Wastes. David kept a crazy fast hand with an Island, a Mana Confluence for Lands, as well as a Jeweled Lotus and Mana Vault as fast mana, that, alongside Simian Spirit Guide, means a turn 1 Locust God. Brain Freeze can be used to Peach for Force of Negation or to combo with Underworld Breach. Finally, Margato also added Mulligan down to 5, with two lands, Mountain and Dragon Skull Summit. Soul Ring will output Krenko easily at turn 2, and Goblin Tinker can then join the party and smash them artifacts to rubble. He bottomed the Mountain and the Prismatic Vista. Ready for the match? Late starts his turn with a Morphic Pool and passes to Ball. He plays a tapped Overgrown Tomb and sends it to the David, who once again asks everyone not to focus him, before playing an Island into a Mana Vault and then casts a Jeweled Lotus. Everyone is overwhelmed, but he still reveals a Simeon Spirit Guide, allowing for a turn 1 Locust God. Late tells the table that it would be cool for that to be bounced, as he casts a Vampiric Tutor, and Ball tells the David to be ready for a Gilded Drake, which actually makes Late changes his mind. A Drake is tutored to the top and the David passes with 4 cards in hand. Margato plays a Mountain and casts a Soul Ring before passing. Late plays an untapped Watery Grave, taking 2 and casts Gilded Drake. Even though David tries to hide his Locust, that is indeed the target for the Drake and the exchange is made. Baal goes to his turn, plays a Forest and casts Sylvan Library before passing. David takes 1 from the Vault, plays an Academy Ruins and casts a Mystic Grimora before shipping it to Margato. He plays his Dragon Skull Summit and casts Krenko Mob Boss, letting Late get to it. He draws, creating an insect token and plays a Flooded Strand, cracking it for an island. He casts Sea River Cutthroat and then casts Merfolk Green Robber. He swings 5 at Ball and then goes to his Ensep, triggering Sieg, drawing another one and spawning another insect. Ball draws only one from the library and ships everything else with a Blessing Mire that he cracks for a Bayou. He casts his first Relentless Rats and passes to David. This pod is not very synergistic for Remora so far, but David still pays for her. He takes one from the vault, plays a mana compass and passes to Margato. He plays a Seer Step pathway and attacks Slate with Krenko. Leito actually reads through the lines and blocks, expecting Margato wanted to connect with Krenko for something else. On his second main phase, he casts Goblin Tinkerer and passes. David, however, fires a Cyclonic Rift onto Locust before Leito taps. He plays an island and casts his commander, Anna 1 the Ruin Thief, pumping his board once again and swings 3 at Pal and 2 at Margato, triggering Wind Robber and Anna 1. Both players mill non-creature cards, so he doesn't draw from anyone, and Wind Robber actually hits a Magus. On his end step, however, he gets to draw one from Sieg. Ball ponders on his library and ends up paying 4 to keep one of the creatures so it's not milled to anyone. He plays a Swamp, casts another Relentless Rat and finishes with an Elves of Deep Shadow. Late draws one from Sieg and David gets to his turn. He pays for Amara yet again, takes one from the Vault and plays an Arid Mesa before passing. Margato simply draws and passes fully untapped. Late goes directly to combat, sending both flyers at Baal. With no blockers declared, he ninjutsus the poor grasshopper for a ninja of the deep hours. He draws from the ninja and then Baal mills one from the wind robber and then two from anyone. Still no creatures though. On his end step, Late draws one from Sieg and then discards one at cleanup. Baal keeps it safe on the library draws, keeping only one and playing a polluted delta. He then casts Abrupt Decay on Sieg, purposely giving a card to David in hopes to get him back in the game, and changing the focus on him. He then sends the Rodents at Late, who blocks one and takes three. He then cracks his Fetch for his Swamp, and on his end step, David also cracks his Mesa for a Volcanic Island. On his upkeep, he activates Academy Ruins, putting it Jolid Lotus on top and takes one from the Vault. He's been on a Flood side so far, playing another island and passes. On his end step, Margato activates Krenko, getting two goblins and then activates Goblin Tinkerer, targeting the Mana Vault. 
On his turn, he plays his Swamp and sends two Goblins at Ball, who mistakenly trades one with his Elf. Margato then casts Earwig Squad with his Prowl cost. Blade has a Drown in the log, but Margato's graveyard is not filled enough, so the squad resolves. He triggers and, after the pondering, he targets Late. He exiles Thassa's Oracle, Yawgmoth's Will and a Bloodshift Ascension, rendering Late pretty much win conless. It's Late's turn and he plays a Sanken Ruins before going to combat. He sends the Flyer at Margato and everything else at Baal. He draws from the Ninja, then Wind Robber mills Margato for 1 and then Anwan mills both Margato and Baal for 2 getting an Azra from Regato, finally drawing him a card. He then plays a Bitter Blossom and ponders for a bit before casting Contamination. David thinks for a bit but lets it pass. Margato responds with an Abrade onto the Wind Robber, making Late sacrifice him since everyone else has blockers on the ground. Late then discards to hand size and it's Baal's turn. He pays 4 to draw one extra card, plays a Swamp and casts one Rat, followed by another before passing Hellbent to David. He simply draws and passes. Margato activates Cranko on his end step, gathering four more goblins. On his turn, he jumps directly to combat and swings everything but Cranko at late. He passes, and on Late's upkeep, he gets a Bitter Blossom token that he sacrifices to maintain contamination after deeply pondering. Bal does say he won't attack him since he wants that to stick and delay his opponents as his hell bent, so Late only needs to deal with Margato. He simply draws and passes. Ball finds 3 lands with library, none is a fetch, so he draws one and plays Nictus Shrine to Nyx, which doesn't do much here. He lets the vid get to it, and he finally finds what he needs. He casts Jeweled Lotus, followed by a Mana Crypt, and finishes with a Mox Opal, getting the necessary colored mana to cast Locust God. On his end step, Margato keeps filling the table with Cranko. He draws and plays an Arid Mesa and gets to combat, sending Irwig at late and 13 goblins at the vid. Late champs with the ninja and the vid blocks with two. Before damage though, Margato activates Cranko for another 16 goblins. He then passes and late flashes an opposition agent. Margato responds by cracking his mesa for a tapped blood crypt. Late finally lets contamination go and gets another fairy token. He simply draws and passes. Bal finds yet another land with library, a forest. He simply casts Gerard and passes. On his end step, David activates Locust God to loot and Late actually flashes in a Notion Thief, so he gets to draw and David discards. David loses the crypt roll and then Margato activates Tinkerer to destroy the crypt. David draws, getting an insect token and simply passes as the board is packing a whopping 71 damage. Margato draws and ponders for a bit. While killing Late can be tempting, he's still stopping Bal from digging with library and David from going off, while not having access to great outs at the same time. Late blocks 2 as he forgets Anwan's Anthem effect and David jump blocks Irwig with an insect and the other two flyers block two goblins as well. Before damage though, Margato activates Cranko for another 30 goblins. He passes the turn. Late gets another fairy from Bitter Blossom and is hanging on a rope. He casts a mystical tutor and after some pondering between Deluge or Rift, he gets a Rift as it is his best but hardest out. He casts Windfall. Bal and David pass, but Margato has some tricks up his sleeve. He cycles Gem Palm Incinerator, dealing 56 damage to Gerard. At this point, Late will draw the Rift and discard it to Windfall. So Bal is conflicted between losing Gerard and Late's Riffing, making it so everyone dies to goblins or activating Gerard preemptively to kill Late and get to see his third card from the top with Library. He chooses to gamble on the 28 cards Late will draw unless Gerard die and leaves it in the graveyard. Margato then responds with a Reckless Charm, choosing to exile David's graveyard, to which David responds with a hard cast Force of Negation. Windfall finally resolves and late draws 28 cards. He finds a possible way out. He plays a Command Tower and casts a Chrome Mox, exiling Necropotence. He then casts Sol Ring and follows it with a Mnemonic Betrayal. With a Colorless from the Sol Ring, he casts David's Mana Vault and then his Mox Diamond. From Margato he casts his Lotus Petal and from Baal he casts his Lotus Petal as well as his Mox Diamond. He then casts Baal, Scalding the Weak, sacrificing one of his fairies. At this moment the storm is really high and he regrets not adding another Labman effect to his deck since Brain Freeze would allow him to get there. He casts the Vid's Jeweled Lotus and overloads his Cyclonic Rift, with one black and two petals still available. Note that Margato forgot to bounce the Sol Ring to his hand, and everyone else missed that too. It slightly changes the mana in his next turn, but didn't change the outcome of the game, so he chose to showcase this game anyway. He cracks Mergato's petal for green and casts Ball's Abrupt Decay onto his own Bitter Blossom. 
He then goes to combat and swings Thief at Baal, Anyone at David and Agent at Margatu, triggering his commander for each opponent. However, no creature was milled, so he discards two hand size and passes. Baal gets to his turn, plays a Relentless Rats and then another, and finishes with Sylvan Library before passing. David simply draws, plays his Mox Opal and passes as well. Margato plays Cranko Mob Boss, plays a Mountain and casts his commander Wart, as Starfire was earlier sent to his graveyard. It might just be enough to deal with later. Late pays to untap his Mana Vault, draws and casts Gilded Drake, exchanging control of Cranko. He then sends Notion Thief at David, triggering anyone, but no creatures was milled. He passes to Baal, who simply draws one. He casts another rat and activates Nyctus for 6 black to cast 2 more Relentless Rats. He attacks Leite and Margato with 1 rat each. Leite flashes in an Old Breacher, with which he jumps one of the rats, while Margato is not afraid of rabies and takes 6. Baal passes to David, who draws and plays a Misty Rainforest, which he can't crack for his Locust, so he passes. At Margato's upkeep, War triggers and he retrieves Starfire to his hand. He draws and fires Starfire at Leite, which, in response, casts Force of Will pitching Fluster Storm. Margato then casts Grenzo, Havoc Razor, and proceeds to combat, sending War to David and Gilded Drake at Baal. Grenzo triggers and he goads one of the rats, as well as exiles the top card of David's library, which is a phantasmal image, so he casts it copying Krenko. He then casts Eric Squad, with his Prowl cost and targets David. He exiles Sage of the Falls, Underworld Breach and Thassa's Oracle. He ships it too late, who didn't think he'd come so far. He casts Narset Parter of Veils and antiques her finding a Limdol's Vault. Still in the tight corner, he casts Wishclaw Talisman and activates it, giving it to David. He tutors for a Time Twister and casts it. With Narset on the field, each opponent would only draw one, which is instead drawn by him due to Notion Thief. He draws 10, Baal sends Gerald from the graveyard to the command zone and Margato loses access to Tar Fire. Late discards to hand size and ships it to Baal. He draws and activates Nyctus to cast Jarad. It actually resolves, so he activates him, sacrificing the Goaded Rat, dealing 6 to each opponent. Late sacrifices the Petal in response, but has no stifle effect, so he and David die. Phantasmal Krenko is exiled, and the original Krenko is returned to Margato, as well as Mox Diamond returns to Baal. He plays a Wooded Foothills and passes. Margato top decks a good card, Goblin Ring Leader. However, luck is not on his side, as he reveals no goblins at all. He ponders for a bit on attacking, but the trades are not so good, so he passes. Baal finally gets to trigger the library, and the third card was what he needed. He activates Nyctus for 10 black and casts a green tutor. He gets a grey merchant of Asphodel, which he casts. He triggers, draining Margato for 12, and then he activates Jarad, sacrificing a rat, and then another for the last points of damage. GG. Thank you for joining us for today's match, everyone. What a grindy match. After some fast turns, we didn't think it would take so long, but in the end, the tribal decks prevailed. We'd like to start the credits by thanking our current patrons, and especially Izanagi, Stefan, TJ Rap, Mike Purr, Ajimu, Uncrustable, Drunken House Cat, V, RJ, and Heated Chill, our stack breakers. If you want to support us, you can do so by liking this video, subscribing, or by becoming a patron yourself. If you want to go through other Commander adventures, click one of the videos on the right. If you want to talk with us about our games or other EDH-related matters, join us on Discord. Join us again next week for a new set of Commanders and more decisive plays. See you all then!